Well, here we are, June the 1st, and we're just getting our day started. Uh, WB has been in his cage all night. It's about, uh, I think it's about 10 a.m. right now. He's been out here for a while. Um, past couple of days he has not seemed too interested in eating right off the bat like he did the first few days. It seemed like the first few days that I had him after he'd been uh, in his cage overnight he would be ravenous. Now he can kind of take it or leave it and uh, but as the day progresses he will have his periods of being hungry and his periods of being active and it seems like when he gets active that's when he's ready to eat I feed him and then he calms down and now he just he's just been fed and uh, he was doing all sorts of interesting little behaviors like preening and uh, and ruffling his feathers now he's seems to be pretty sedate and uh, he likes it up on this bookshelf and notice yesterday I worked at the computer for quite a while and he seemed very content right up here okay June 1st and it's a little bit later in the day I think it's probably about noon or so and uh, you get to see kind of what WB goes through some of his more energetic phases uh, here he is in his bird cage and uh, he's been in here for a few minutes I've had him contained while I uh, while I'm getting ready for the day and uh, he was pretty animated when I first walked in here and uh, I put the I knew this manual would come in handy for something eventually that's why I didn't have him thrown it away and fortunately it holds the lid on because he's WB is able to break out of this bird cage. Here, let's get you up on your perch. Let me put him up on this perch. There we go. He's getting used to being handled. There you go. Okay, now, let's see if we can get you to eat something. There you go. All right. You need it? Try another one. He's not into eating. Well, here we go. I was going to say his appetite isn't quite as as robust as it has been. Um, just depends on the time of the day and what he's what's going on in his bird mind. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one in here. And lately he's been throw, sh showing a lot of interest in water. So uh, he's been able to actually drink from a little lid that I put down. In fact, I'll show you. I have a little lid here that goes to the top of a paperclip uh, box. And I just invert it and fill it with water. And he likes to drink from it and uh, play around in it. And he does like, I've been giving him a little extra water via a syringe. And he seems to like that. And I think he's old enough now that we're not going to harm him by giving him water uh, from a syringe. They say that the, the nestlings, uh, you don't want to give water via a syringe because they could actually drown. But I don't think he's been having any problems here with that. So as long as he likes a little bit of water, we're going to feed it to him. And here we go. Whoop. Sorry about that. We had a little incident here the other night where he flew out. I had the, the top of the cage off. And he flew out and landed on this, in this uh, light up here. And of course I ran over and turned the light off quickly and got a, ladder crawled up and got him out right away concerned he might have gotten burned but he was fine 
So we have an alternate light right here to use when he's being fed. Shall we see if he wants to get up on his spot there? He, he likes to be on the bookcase. Shall we see if we want to go up on your your spot there? There we go, right up here. Oh, there. He likes it up there. And uh, he definitely likes the expensive cat food as opposed to the generic Purina cat food that I had tried giving him for a while. I started him out with, uh, I think it's called Healthful. What is it called? It's, ex it's an expensive cat food and he likes that better. Just now, uh, you might have noticed, see how he wipes his beak? I notice he doesn't like uh, his beak to be wet, like if he's been drinking water or if I've been feeding him. If he gets a little cat food on his beak, he will wipe it off on uh, just like you just now saw like on that newspaper or uh, whatever he can use as a napkin he likes to be clean and see he's real content right now he uh, I might be working on the computer for an hour or so and he will sit right up here just like a very good bird and right over here is this little thing of water that he goes over and visits, drinks a little bit from. He does fly. Each day his flying gets better and better. It's about uh, almost one o'clock in the afternoon on the first of June. And WB's been up on the bookshelf quite content, kind of getting into his routine. He's just been doing some uh, preening and stretching and and then he did a little pecking like uh, in fact he was working the uh, the trim on my uh, bookshelf like he was uh, almost like a woodpecker kind of acting like he's trying to find a bug find bugs or something and I did read somewhere where certain birds will put their beak in a like an opening and then kind of open force open the opening to uh, dig out insects so he's doing that with that uh, I guess that veneer strip or whatever you would call that trim on the top of this this old uh, book bookshelf and uh, he's kind of opened the space up and kind of prying that veneer off I'm always noticing some type of an interesting little behavior. And another thing I've noticed that's quite interesting is the tongue. I guess a person doesn't really think of birds as having tongues. It's a long slender tongue and it's quite flexible. He kind of licks the side of his beak and if he gets has a piece of food on his beak he cleans it off right away and quite interesting to watch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gonna fly? Well, what you looking for here? You gonna fly? Well, come on, let's see what happens. See what happens. I know how we can get you to fly. We'll put you on the edge of your cage you on the edge of your cage and we're going to put you right on the edge there whoop well can I get you to sit stand on there this is really hard trying to film with one hand trying to get a bird you wouldn't believe how strong those talons are. I guess you call them talons. He really can grip and even taking him off with two hands let alone holding a camera is kind of a feat. So can we get you to 
I wonder if I toss you up if you're going to fly. Oh! <laughs> right, right towards me. Okay, here, let's see if we can get you to fly up to your book. Case. You ready? See what happens. Should we go? Can you fly? I hate to toss you up in case you can't fly. See what happens. We'll just see what happens. There we go. Well, that's pretty good. That's not exactly where you wanted to be, though. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Where are you? Oh, there you are. See, we're not quite... Okay, there. That's better, isn't it? That's not too bad for a novice.